Hello guys, welcome back to Airpin Distress Club. Today we are going to discuss about malware strings. So what is malware strings? Malware strings typically refers as a specific sequence of characters or code within a malware program. These strings can be text or binary data that serves a various purpose within the malicious software such as like identify systems and vulnerabilities, encrypting or decrypting or uh, in the malware or the community with the command of control and servers. So basically what we need to do here, security analysts and researchers often look for these strings when analyzing a malware to understand its behavior and identify its origin and develop the countermeasures to protect against its common type of strings in malware including the encryption keys and command and control servers, addresses and signatures that help to detect the presence of the malware on infected systems. So now we can see uh, why it's more important. So we're gonna answer this. What is the name of the account that the passcode of 12374 in the intellect of example? So you can see here or uh, there are a Pelotra of example of companies storing a sensitive information such as passwords within their applications for example like Intel Alien Satellite just copy and paste it so what is the CVE entry of disclose the company of Teradata so we want to find the teradata of CV list. That's it. So you can see teradata of CV list here. So this is the CV list of 2019. 6499. According to the OS, uh, OS list top 10 of iot vulnerabilities one okay so now we want to do the practical of extracting the strings from the applications so let's we download this one so just remove it from here so now let's we do this practical strings and login form.exe so now we can see here in the login form.exe what we can find. What is the correct username required to a login form? It's CNmatic. It's a correct one. Now you can see. Uh, second one is this. What is the password of authentication with this? This is the password. Try hacking version when. So this is the flag. That's it here. So strings of context malware. So strings of context malware. It's only like command and control. So where we can get like you can write your command. You can execute and get back. So name a discuss for example malware that is strings to store the Bitcoin wallet and address of the payment is only the wanna cry. So now practical for finding. So just we launch this one. Just we close. So before that we directly move on this one. So we want to track the Bitcoin address. So this is a Bitcoin address. Let's see. So list number of total transactions that a Bitcoin wallet used the wanna cry for authors. So let's see. Its number of transaction is 143. So
so what is the bitcoin address stored in the complex calculator so let's see XP RDP need to change only the IP address 136.57 yes So now we got the RTP. So you know, we cannot make this one as a very big. Uh, does not matter. So first of all, what we need to do? What is the Bitcoin address that was stored in the complex calculator? So this is a system internals. So from here we just directly type a CMD. We got the CMD. Now what you want to do here is you need to type strings.exe so it will ask uh, strings license and agreement you can if you want you can study and you can click directly and agree that's it no so now what we want to do is we want to find the uh, bitcoin address with a complex calculator.exe so come back here so prefer we need to type same thing strings.exe as a complex calculator .exe. we want to get the strings.txt that's it so now we can come back here uh, we can look This is a strings we want to look uh, complex of the data of the Bitcoin we want to look here to look here not have we need to come Here. So the Bitcoin wallet, what is the Bitcoin address that was stored? Bitcoin address stored in the complex calculator. So this is the Bitcoin address. So we can cross verify even this uh, Bitcoin address. Or no. Yes. Yeah, this is the Bitcoin address. So now let's finish up the summary. So we can recap in the CM Natix. So what is the name of a tool set that provides a Microsoft that allows to extract the strings and applications? Is uh, that is 
sys internals i think sys internals yeah so what is the operator of pipe where you can use then this is what is the name of currency that was ransomware often for use the payment is only the bitcoin that's it guys marvelous things thank you guys for watching have a nice day